2022 was a great year for anime. We had new big hits such as Spy X Family, Blue Lock, and the Amazing Chainsaw Man, which just ended, among others, and returning ones such as My Hero Academia Season 6. And even freaking Bleach returned this year. But this year perhaps may even be bigger with the new anime that are coming and returning ones. But before we get to the list, I hope you guys subscribe, turn on our post notification bells not to miss any new videos. So now let's get to the list of the top 10 most anticipated anime to watch out for in 2023. Starting at number 10, we have this new anime, Undead on Luck, which is a story about a young man named Undead Andy who wishes to experience death because he's an undead being, you know, that was cursed to roam the earth for eternity. And just like most characters who can live forever, he wishes to rest and that is to get the sweet release of death. So in this mission of his, he meets a young woman named Funko Izumo who is basically like bad luck personified and accidentally kills people who comes into contact with her. But for Andy, that is kind of good luck for him and he immediately falls for her and dedicates his time to win her heart so that one day her bad luck will grow big enough to end his life once and for all. This concept looks intriguing and the protagonist's mission and journey no doubt will surely be an emotional ride. And of course, it being a shonen manga, we will get to see more action and power system that is unique to this world. There is no specific date yet but it's still releasing 2023. At number 9, we have Trigon Stampede. It's a new anime adapted from the popular manga and has been anticipated by fans for years now. This anime follows an infamous bounty hunter, Bash, someone known for causing crazy destruction wherever he goes and thus earning him the nickname Humanoid Typhoon. But as you know, looks and names and rumors can be deceiving because despite this reputation that he has, he's actually kind, driven by a strong moral code and through his travels across this harsh and lawless world of Trigon, he meets a exceptional and memorable characters who all have their own issues and mission and backstory. The unique thing about this anime right off is the animation style which is going to be in 3D and it looks stunning too. And it looks like it's going to be funny too with some comedic elements just like in Cowboy Bebop. The action looks like it will be fast paced and exciting and the world is going to be interesting to discover and the cool and complex characters that we'll meet will make it even more interesting. Now at number 8, we have Nier Automata version 1.1. This is one of the highly anticipated anime for this year, especially for fans of the games. I mean, the game was amazing, not just in terms of the unique play style and combat and gameplay, but also the complex story that it told through different playthroughs. So for those who are not familiar with the game and story, it's a fascinating sci-fi take about humanity fighting off an alien invasion with the help of cybernetic androids who all lack human emotions or even an identity and it follows them and as we delve deeper into the world, everything is questioned, what it means to be human or an android and the theme of self-actualization is going to make it one heck of a story to experience and of course, the action is woven into its core with the animation looking beautiful. Fans don't have to wait long though as it's releasing this week, January 7th. Next is the second season to the amazing Mushoku Tenzin, Jobless Reincarnation, where we continue the story of radios. For newcomers, this anime is about a 34-year-old unemployed man, a shatin who was reincarnated into another world as radios grey art after his death and follows his new life. Season 2 though is going to be packed with more action, with exciting new characters and returning ones that we've not seen for a while and of course, we're going to follow radios on his next adventure and growth. At number 6, we have Vinland Saga Season 2. Man, it feels like it's been ages since Season 1 of Vinland Saga ended to the point where even when I finished watching Season 1, it took me about a month until I couldn't take it anymore and started reading the manga. But now, we are fully going to get to continue where the story left off, which I know fans can't wait. With Mappa at the helm with Season 2, it's going to be even crazier in terms of animation and action. Now, if you haven't watched this before, Vinland Saga is essentially about Thorfinn, who is a child of the greatest warrior like in the world at the moment and follows his revenge story. That's basically it, don't want to spoil anything more than that. This season though is going to be about self-reflection and atonement and salvation for our protagonist after that wild unexpected ending. It's going to be released this month but with no specific day. At number 5 is One Punch Man Season 3. Yep, Saitama is coming back, which fans are surely excited about. I mean, for a while after season 2 ended, which in my opinion didn't catch up to season 1's, you know, craziness 
happiness and hype and you know everything but it was still dope but at that moment when season two ended it was unclear whether there was going to be a season three or not but now it's official with its release date supposed to be this year so hopefully it is so and it actually delivers more than the second season at number four we have jujutsu kaisen season two which is finally coming back this year i mean season one was one of the best of last year and season two looks like it's going to take it to another level with this adaptation of the shibuya incident arc for this season i'm not going to delve into much spoilers here but season two is essentially going to show us gojo and geto's origin story these two powerful special great sorcerers and also introduce some powerful new characters as well we are going to get tons of more action gore and of course this season is going to be <laughs> more heartbreaking than the last season. For newcomers though, Jujutsu Kaisen is a story about Itadori Yuji, a high schooler who becomes a member of Jujutsu Tech School of Sorcerers who eradicates curses and spirits and with his two comrades and his friends by his side who he meets at the school among other friends. This season though is going to test these three musketeers with even more intense and wild situations and Mappa is at it again of course. It's going to be crazy amazing and I just can't wait. There's no specific release date as of right now. At number 3, we have Demon Slayer Season 3 and it's coming to blow our minds even further than Season 2 did and that says a lot considering Season 2 was like, it turned everything up a notch from the action, animation and emotional moments and man, they were just unforgettable. This season, you know, 3 would start the Swordsmith Village arc and as someone who's read the manga and completed, man, <laughs> you, were, you guys ain't ready, man. Now, if you are new to this, it's essentially about a boy, the story of course, who becomes a demon slayer and on a mission to cure his sister who becomes one. And that's the most I can say about it without going, you know, delving into deeper spoilers. As for the release date, it doesn't have a concrete one, but it's expected to be released within 2023. Now, at number two, we have Attack on Titan season four, part three, the final conclusion to one of the best anime of all time. And we don't even have to wait long because it's coming this January but with no specific day. Man, this is really going to be an emotional one in terms of saying goodbye to this scary world and also to some characters because let's be honest here, not everyone in this show is going to make it out alive. I mean with the characters that we have left right now. At number one, we have Solo Leveling, an anime people have wanted to be adapted onto the screen since the Korean web novel blew up and the manhwa took its fame even higher and now fans prayers have been answered. The story in this series is about a young man by the name Sang Jin Woo who is known as the weakest hunter in the world because of his F rank status. But after a life and death incident, he finds out that he's been given an opportunity to grow stronger almost infinitely and thus begins his journey and trial to become the strongest hunter in the world filled with warring factions, dungeons and humanity's possible extension. Now the plot even though it's not the best out there, is still compelling with each panel drawn in a manual which is excellent that depicts its action in an amazing and hyped fashion with a great protagonist to root for. Man, and honestly it's in my top three this year and i just can't wait its release date is set to mid 2023 now that's it for the list the top 10 most anticipated anime for this year of course there are others that are also going to drop special mentions to spy x family season 2 plus there's also a movie coming out that time i got reincarnated into a slime season 3 bungo stray dog season 4 the rising of the shield hero season 3 tokyo revengers season 2 among other anime even classroom of the elite season 3 like wow this year is going to be great and i just can't wait let me know in the comments below what you thought of all this anime which is your top 3 anticipated for this year and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video that's it for the video as always nerdy sage here see you guys in the next one